Hello all, how's everybody doing? It's been an eventful few days to say the least. Um, so as you can see in the title, um, I see you, can you hear me? I need to turn this thing down because I'm gonna be getting a thousand messages. I see you, can you hear me? Okay. Yes, I can. Okay. okay. So um, as you can see in the title, uh, we wanted to bring this to you before it got out um, into the public. Um, yeah. Jose has died. Um, a little bit about this. Um, I just want to tell mods, um, if people are not respectful uh, in a time like this, then block them. Um, it's just that simple. We're, we're not going to uh, throw around anybody's name who had nothing to do with this whatsoever related to other cases. Um, so a few days ago, I got a, a message on under one of my videos and it's, it talked about, um, they needed to get in touch with me. Sorry. Um, and I thought it was just a, they said they need to get in touch with me because something bad had happened to Jose. I thought it was a troll and um, I didn't take anything to the comment. I didn't, you know. So then I messaged Jose and I didn't get an answer. And Jose always messages me back very quickly. And then, uh, of course, what I see and I do, we um, started digging and we got in touch with his family. And I'm not even sure if a lot of people, a lot of his family members knew. Um, and then we, um, we got a little bit of information in last night while I was live or last night with pertaining to the children that was gunned down in Texas. So it was kind of like a tragedy on a tragedy. And then, you know, we, we stayed up a lot last night searching for more answers and we, uh, got in touch with the family again this morning and it was confirmed by the family. But then we contacted TBI to notify, you know, his passing as well. And we also confirmed that through um, other means that is, I mean, We've contacted, we, how, to, how should I put it? I see you. Um, we've taken all the proper steps to confirm it. Right. To be sure it was okay to release. Yeah. And that's it. I mean, that's, you know, yeah. we've just done everything we can that we know that is right and to respect the family. Right. Um, the family is obviously there's a lot of sadness, anger, and, um, questions. Um, and I wanted to be like the first one to put it out that way. This is 
a non disputable um, we do not know exactly what happened um, they're writing on the toxicology reports and you know the autopsy yes we are waiting on all of that Yes, I think that uh, that's a great comment. Jose was the one person who told us who Summer was. And regardless of how, you know, he passed, um, you know, Jose was struggling with... Um, you know, mental health, obviously, and you know, he was he was deeply hurt um, about you know this happening with Summer. Um, he was hurt that he was being blamed, um, but we also you know, told him that this was kind of par for the course with, you know, uh, YouTube, but we don't know that this is self-inflicted. Um, so we cannot say that. Um, the last time we talked to him on here was not too long ago. He had just gotten a job. He was very, very excited about getting a job. Um, I bought him shoes for his work because his work required him to have the non-slip shoes. And I purchased him the shoes and he was very excited about starting his job. And um, he had told me that he had just got back in contact with his son. I think he had said that on a live too, if I'm correct. I see mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And he um, was excited about talking um, to his grandchild. His grandchild meant everything in the world to him. And, you know, it's very sad. Um, one second. Mm hmm I apologize for that. Um, so um, that is really all of the information we know. The family is asking, begging to please leave them be while they grieve, um, which I think anybody with a heart should respect. Um, you know, uh, I know there's going to be a lot of talk about this, um, but I, I have a, a rule, um, that the dead should not be spoken about. It's my rule. It's not anybody else's. It's a free country. I get it. Um, but you know, the dead should, they, they're end up, you know, they can't defend themselves or anything. So kindness matters. And, you know, as the days unfold and the toxicology comes back, um, the autopsy comes back, um, you know, we'll know more. Is this real? Uh, 
sadly, yeah, it's definitely real. Unfortunately. So, um, you know, Jose literally just cried. Talking about Summer, he did fail Summer, just like everyone else did around him, around her. But I can tell you that he loved everyone there for the short period that he was there. And, you know, he, I would like for his legacy for us to be, you know, the things that he told us that we didn't know about Summer. Mm -hmm. That's a great way of putting it. I see you. And, I mean, he, I don't even know how to say this, really. Um, he just showed us what a beautiful little girl she was in the same light that her parents should have. Yeah. And yeah. for that, I appreciate him, you know, and that's what I want him to be remembered for. He really animated Summer. You know what I mean? He put her into, you know, because everybody else never, A, explained Summer the way Jose explained Summer. And B, you know, there was a lot of, you know, just saying that Summer didn't really speak a lot or, you know, and that kind of stuff. And Jose was just kind of like, well, that's not true. You know, Summer wouldn't be quiet. <laughs> so um, I appreciate him for that. Yes, Linda, he made Summer more real to us. Um, so, um, Jules, I, you're welcome to have your opinion, honey, but please, I, I don't, I, I just please do not speculate on what happened because this is where rumors start. Um, and the frenzy that came about whenever we introduced Jose with months of research trying to find him. But, you know, we, it's natural to want to know what happened to him. Because I want to know just as bad as everyone else, right? But, you know, we have to also have the responsibility to not speculate until all of the facts are out, all of the information is released. And that's when we can, you know, move forward with that. Yes. And, you know, the minute we find something out, we will let you know. So, country girl, uh, you can be blocked. Um, we won't even acknowledge that comment. Um, we do have the... Um, uh, lifelines available um jose did struggle with mental health and um as we all do at times in our life some more than others um 
but you know the one thing that I do know is um, from what I know of Jose he was to be he was a good person and um, he cared. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I really hope that, I hope it's like natural causes, obviously. Um, I hope he didn't do anything to himself, but I know that he has tried multiple times. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm shocked because, the like you said earlier, the last time we spoke with him, he was seemed to be doing really well. He had he goals. Was, yes, he was really happy. Um, he had to walk what like two miles to his work, mm-hmm. two miles back, but he didn't care. You know. My fat ass would have cared. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, you know, he, he really made the best of the situation that he had. Was he a flawed individual? Yes. But so am I. And so is everybody else. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. He did. He, um, He did. Um, I, you know, he um, was, he was, from what we understand, he was found, right? I see you, was that more? Yes, he was found, yes. Um, And so when there is nobody present, when someone dies, there obviously has to be toxicology and or autopsy Mm -hmm. um this happened sunday or monday was it sunday 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 Mm -hmm. we have i don't want to say we've known but we've um we really wanted to make sure that it it really happened before we brought this out. And Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and Jose has kids and he has family and, um, I just, uh, ask, creators and subscribers to to just let the family have peace let them have comfort as best as they can right now um they are going to have to um bring his body back to New York. Um, and they they do have a GoFundMe um, for, I think it's transportation. Um, and if people want to, um, that information, I will get that. Um, I'll put it on my community wall or the next live that I do. Um, and that is just to get him, his remains back to, um, to, uh, New, New York, New York. Yes. Thank you. I can't even think right now. Oh no. You know, just with this and then the 
the murdered children who were gunned down in Texas. Um, it's too much sometimes, you know, and he was crying out in our channel about his mental illness. This is sad and heartbreaking. Mental illness are real and needs to be taken seriously. Yes. Sure, I can recap. For those that are just joining, um, Jose Roman, who was on our channel several times, passed away uh, Sunday. He was found. His body was found. Um, they are doing a toxicology. They're doing an autopsy. Um, we have confirmed this through his family and through other means um, to confirm of his death. Um, the last time we spoke to Jose, he was he was good. He was excited about his job, and um, you know he was excited about talking to his family and everything. Um, people with depression. You know, life is, it depends on the situation, you know, what kind of mental illness, but one minute you can be very happy and the next moment, not so much. Um, we have notified TBI. We have given all of the information that we know to TBI. Um, obviously, Jose um, was not even close to anything located, you know, with the Summer Wells. Um, but still, regardless, they needed to know that Jose had passed. Mm -hmm. And that, um, you know, this just, this case, the Summer Wells case, it's anything like I've ever seen. And it's any, it's something that we'll probably never see again. And I hope not. Um, But, yeah. Fancy, that's so true. The ups and downs can be sporadic as well. Yes, we do not know how, what caused his death. Um, nor should we speculate. And um, particularly if he died with a mental health issue, it wouldn't help him when he was alive, and it definitely won't help him in his death, nor the family. So let's just be kind. It's not hard to be kind. Just not. No. It's a very simple thing to do. In fact, it's actually um, more difficult to be mean because mean drains you and being kind fills you up. Yes. Many people self-medicate. Um, you know, the only thing I know Jose to do was drink, you know, but that's really it. You know, I don't think that he was on any drugs when we talked to him. Um, but that's not to say that you know, things didn't change. We just don't know 
and you know his family will see this Yeah, he did live with, um, you know, he said, I should have just slept in a tent, you know, and told the wells to, you know, a thing or two about themselves, right? Mm -hmm. So he died, uh, from what we understand, he died Sunday. And I was notified by that message either Sunday night or Monday. I can't remember. Yeah, and that's absolutely right, Tara. This could be completely natural causes. It could be his heart. It could be, you know, stroke. You know, it's just too early to speculate. But I wanted to be the one that put this out there that this is is the facts anything you hear anything 100 percent if it if it literally doesn't come from us or chris mcdonough it's it it is not confirmed 100 percent. that's just the way it is um i will bring everything to you as as it happens, as we know more. Can you check the private chat real quick? Mm -hmm. I hate saying that during the live. No. But I don't have a choice. Uh, we will, before we share that, we'll call them and make sure that's taken care of. Okay. All right. Thank you. No problem. So, um, Yeah, he had, you know, I mean, Chris made it clear that he had no involvement in this case, no matter what your feelings are or anything like that. He was very far away um, when this happened, and he had absolutely no involvement. So, um, you know, that's that. So um, we will be sharing his um, GoFundMe soon, um, probably in a couple hours. Um, and that's that. Yes, Chris did clarify his criminal records, um, and there was nothing, zero, <laughs> Nada, zip about anything that is a S predator or anything like that. Okay, Susan Bright, I just seen something online that said Jose Roman turned himself in to police in connection to Summer Wells. That would be damn near impossible. Wow, it's amazing. Humans. Mm -hmm. It's really amazing. It really is just fascinating that even the mental illness that still goes on even after you tell them literally 100% of what you know. Right. Yes. That Dumb people, just dumb. Yeah, it's crazy. So, um, absolutely, we will, um, 
do a moment of silence for Jose. Um, we'll take one minute. In just a moment. All right, one minute, you. Moment of silence, please. All right, guys, thank you for your moment of silence. Um, oops, where did I see you going? I'm so, right here. There you are. So um, that is all we know. I'm going to say it one more time before I jump off of here. Um, we are just confirmed um, just this morning that Jose did Jose Roman did pass away um, Sunday from what we understand. Um, he has no connection with the disappearance of Summer. Um, Chris has cleared that. I have cleared that. Um, we have cleared as you know his criminal record that he was long gone, right? Um, we do not know the cause or the manner of how it happened. We don't know if this is, you know, natural. We don't know if it's self-inflicted. We don't know if, you know, this something or someone did something. We have no idea. Um, and for anyone to say anything else, consider it 100% speculation. Um, the family has asked to please give them respect. At this time, they are going to have to transfer Jose's body or remains or cremains, whatever they decide to do. Um, from, you know, his location of death. And, you know, exact words from his son. He said, my dad has lived a hard life. Please let him rest in peace. It's a wonderful way of putting it. Yeah. So that is all we know, right? I see you. Am I missing anything? Not a thing. Okay. No. Uh, also, TBI is, has, and is informed of this. Um, so please don't be ringing their phones off the hook. Um, they already know. Um, and I just wanted to be the first one to put it out because um, to know what is everything that we know as of now. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yeah. And I'm begging y'all, please leave this family alone. Yes. Just please, please just leave them alone for the foreseeable future because um, they, they can't even think. Um, I will be on later this evening. I have an appointment that I have to go to in just a few minutes. After that appointment, I'll come back and I will have, uh, if you want to, fine. If not, that's understandable, um, to donate uh, to their GoFundMe uh, pertaining to having his body transferred back to his family. So, all right. Thank you all. I certainly do appreciate you all for being here. Um, and as we know more, we will bring it to you as soon as humanly possible. Yes. So, right. This is all we can do right now. You know, we can't speculate for what happened. So, so, um, yeah, nobody's asking, uh, for you to donate anything that's, that's, you know, totally up to your own heart and your own wishes. Um, so anyway, I'll let, uh, that be that. Thank you all. God bless you. And we will talk to you guys again later this evening. Anything else? Love you all. Love you guys. Love you all. Bye. Bye-bye.